for this day that you have blessed us with, and we thank you for the meetings that we've had, and we ask that you guide us through this one and through the council meeting. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you. We'll call Shelly. Curtis now. Here. Frankie Hargis. Present. Bill Anglin. Here. Jack Baker. Here. Joe Berg. Here. Julia Coates. Jody Fishinghop. Meredith Braley. Here. Janelle Fulbright. Present. Don Garvin. Chuck Hoskin Jr. Here. Connor Gory Jordan. Lee Keener. Amen. Dick Lay. Here. David Thornton. Amen. David Walking Sticks. Tara Callenwatt. And John Masters. We do have a form. Moving on down to uh, the approval of the minutes the December the 10th regular session. Make a motion to be approved. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Moving on down to reports. Management resources, Bruce Davis. Good evening. How's everybody? I know we're in a hurry, so you have my reports in front of you. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to try to answer anything that you have. Yes. Just a comment. Yes, sir. Uh, well, Bruce, I really appreciate this uh, for you taking care of that elderly couple there in Delaware County. Their uh, their house was going to get condemned, and he found a way for them to be relocated there in another community. And and uh, I think it had to do with uh, septic tank and, and the relocation. I really appreciate you and your staff and, and appreciate it, Joe. For doing appreciate it. That's, that's what we're that's what we're here for. You know. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Here, Callum. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Have we bought additional hay equipment? So I need to update my FOIA request. We have let out bids for additional hay equipment. Okay. We haven't bought those yet. Do we have a revised plan for buying all the hay equipment on what our goals are in terms of hay? Not really a revised plan, but you know, with the the property that we have now and. Uh, 200 plus acres that that we've been brush hogging and spraying that we can uh, convert to bales of hay for our our people and so that that's our plan at this time and, and how are they going to decide who gets what again we'll have to sit down with, and, and write up a policy and, and decide who gets what and how much the price is going to be and, and as, as I would interpret the Constitution, I guess this is up to legal matters, but every bell of hay would be accounted for as an asset of the Cherokee Nation and would have to be. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Just like if you give away a chair and, and, and go through council, I'm guessing now we're going to give not away plan, hay. I'm not planning on giving away hay. Okay. Because okay. so uh, uh, that's, that's a big uh, commodity right now, so uh, I think it's going to be in our best interest to have hay for sale. Okay. So and, we, and I want to tell you that in terms that of are we doing tribal government as a business then, or what, what's going on that we would, that we would well uh, right now for the Heritage Center for example they have uh, livestock that we provide hay to them uh, if the bison come in we will have to provide hay to the bison so those are two things that I know right off the top of my head that we're going to have to provide hay for so those are a couple of things that we're looking at I want to I, I want to say this Kerry that we had a surplus auction for items at, at natural resources and raised ninety two thousand dollars to buy this hay and equipment with so that that in turn paid for all the equipment so we didn't have to take any of that money out of our existing budgets thank you thank you mr chairman thank you Councilman Keener. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, the 92000 that was for the second round of equipment or for the initial? Uh, I think that will pay for both sets of equipment. Okay. Yes. So if, uh, you mow uh, 200 acres or more? Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll have at, at least 200 acres. <coughs> and then forage production potential is 170. Mm -hmm. So then that's total everything? Well, no, there's going to be some more to that, Lee. That was just a, our initial. Uh, property that we knew right off hand that, that we would be able to bail. Uh, our group's got 15 acres of Muscogee. Okay, if, if say we get more property bought in this area that that we have to keep clean, like this piece of property right here by the, the complex, mm -hmm. you know, that has to be brush hogged two or three times a summer. In turn, we could bail that and, and <coughs> have hay for our citizens that, you know, coming off of that field. What are you going to do with the hay? I'm going to sell it. Okay. There you go. With 
question. What you, what you don't use, we'll say. Right. What we don't use, we'll say. Okay. Uh, also, could you help me with the uh, forest development and, and forestry department's budget request? What's it say? Uh, there's two. Modification requesting a decrease in expenditure authorization of 180000 to be budgeted in a new budget, which is now going to be called SG Forestry. I'll have, I will have to get with Pat on that and get back to you, Lee. Okay, well, we're going to vote on that tonight. Can I get you an answer here in just a minute? Sure. That'd be, okay. That'd be helpful. You bet. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Any more questions, Bruce? Good report. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Move on down to real estate services. Ginger Brown. My report there in front of you. If you have any questions, I would be happy to. Ginger, I, I appreciate you taking on the task of the the bell settlement. With many questions out there, Meredith, I think you got yours answered. They do have a website for that, and I think Ginger's taking care of the apps, and then Linda Donaldson take care of the legal. Is that correct? Uh, basically, we have all of the. Uh, we have inquiries anywhere from uh, 20 to 30 people that come in and call each day. And we're sending them to the uh, to the website, as well as we provide them a little packet of what the website does does have, you know, and what, uh, what it entails, and who is eligible, if they are eligible. And some of them take a little more time so that we can advise them if they are eligible. Would you uh, have time to do a community meeting if the numbers were high enough? Well, of course, we, whatever we need to do, we, we will certainly do that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Council Lady Watts? Federal Building. Federal Building. There, uh, no decision has been issued yet, and we do check every week. Do you have every week? We, my staff checks each week to find out what the status is. Oh, yeah. meaning that they call them or something? Yes, they do. Okay, very good. They call us every week. week. Check um, the federal registry or something? Oh, no. No, we, we make a phone call every week. Much appreciated, Ginger. And thank you uh, to your staff and I guess Bruce for keeping it much prettier around the building line. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Yes, definitely. Councilman Garvin? Yes. I had a call from the constituents this week. I made a uh, member for the tribe, and uh, Todd looked it up, and somebody in my head, that's 905, 905, the Cobalt case. So if anyone needs it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Have any more questions for Ginger? Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Move on down environmental programs. Tom Elkins. Good afternoon. I uh, hope you have our report. Uh, just a few points. Most of our goals were about 30 some percent, a little bit more, a little bit less. We're running about where we should be for this time of the year with the things that we keep track of on a, on a monthly basis. Um, and just a few points that I know of that we didn't have. When we did the report, um, we're planning a water meeting, uh, part of the uh, Environmental uh, Protection Commission's duties is to report to the administration and to the council about the condition of the uh, nation's water. And so we're planning a meeting with that tentatively, and I, I think this is a somewhat firm date, but we're looking at Tuesday and Wednesday, March 26th and 7th, I believe. Yes, 26th and 27th. Uh, I would like to ask, uh, I think Laura has been asking our speaker to see if we could set a, uh, a resource committee meeting that day, whether it be a subcommittee or a maybe table the committee, I don't know. Um, but some sort of a council meeting. Two days. We'll have two days, just one day for the council's part. I mean, certainly you'd be welcome to attend the rest of it. But we're, uh, we're wanting to discuss with, within our tribe 
and with the council, the administration, and maybe some tribes that have some commonality with us, especially the five tribes. Some of the things that we're doing, uh, what we might learn from them, what they might learn from us. Uh, it's something we should be doing every year. Uh, we believe we'll have it at the Hard Rock. Um, we've been trying to schedule all these things, and uh, I will get a firm date within this month for sure, but probably in the next week or so. We'll have a firm date. Those dates, uh, I know Laura in our office uh, worked up with uh, Gail and said that those would probably be the best for you all. And um, so we're going to try to work towards that. But I'll get a firm date and time and everything to you just as soon as, as, soon as we can set that up. Uh, I do want to say that uh, we're going to be setting up an environmental committee in the uh, intertribal, the five tribes. We used to do that years ago. And we haven't been doing that for whatever reason. That just has not been, there was not that much interest. And I've been talking to the, um, the head of the Creek Nation's uh, environmental group, and they want to do that. Uh, again, we have a lot of commonality with those other tribes. And so we're going to start that back up again. We'll probably be running a resolution through the, uh, uh, through the executive committee, forming that committee. And uh, then we'll probably start putting different things on the agenda. That I know there's a lot of interest in And then uh, there is a, an agenda item on, our, on this uh, committee meeting about the landfill. The administration undertook a, uh, uh, an independent assessment. Uh, we contracted with a uh, contracting group, uh, an environmental group uh, out in Tulsa and some other places. But they've been working uh, on this assessment. It's not complete. Uh, I wanted to have something that I could bring here and uh, discuss with you about, but it's just not there. And we're not at that point uh, at the agenda yet, but I would ask that when we get there, uh, unless there's a, a solid reason to discuss it more, that we table that to the next month. We'd have some, a clearer package to bring to you. What are you talking about? Tabling the landfill report? I would ask that, but I mean, it's not, you know, if you, if you wish to discuss it, we can do that to the extent you have time. Certainly. Well, we'll think about that here. Certainly. And any questions? I'll be happy to take those. Council Lady Watts. Thank you. Recently, the EPA released a statement that they gave the authority for the capital permits to the USDA. Yes. Did we comment on that? We sure did. Part of that process? Could you share those with me then? That went from the Attorney General's office, but certainly we can. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Any more questions? Tom? Thank you, sir. Thank you. The veteran, well, Mr. Bruce Davis. The Veteran Center, I have David Moore, and we have a packet of information for you. And I want to ask David to come up and present that to us, okay? Sorry, I didn't get these done earlier. We're going to finish the electrical and the plumbing rough. HVAC is trying to get <coughs> some metals approved so they can start that. Uh, we've got several big packages that have been awarded and they're in the submittal process. And we have still have several out to be on the battery center. You have a completion date? Yes, late June. You <laughs> know what I put them? Late June? Yeah, sure. Late, late June. We'll try to get out of there. That's done. I made the tour last time we was over here, and the <coughs> building's outstanding. It's it's larger than it looks like here. You're doing a good job, and uh, we look forward to being completed on June 27th and selection by. I'll try. Real hard. I'll start clicking a little harder. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Uh, who's next? I just. 
This is just that rough estimate that y'all ask us to come up with. So assuming we're able to get and maybe do some more things, but assuming that we're able to get the property from the federal government as promised originally, uh, will we be making plans to do this work or, or what's the intention? If that's, uh, if that's what we're directed to do, then that's what we'll do. Uh, we went over and looked at the building actually two or three times and did an assessment of the building and and tried to figure out what it would cost to bring it up to our standards, you know, handicapped accessible and all of those areas and what we would use the building for and David and his staff looked at the numbers and, and if it's if, if we get the building and the council and everyone's in agreement that we want this building then they'll direct us to go over there and, and start working. What's the appraised value of the property? No, I have to become a realty, I don't know if you can do it. Can we actually honor it? And ask, you did ask for permission too. So. Thank you very much. Okay. Sounds like things are working and I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Do you know if that's a, um, a historic building? That I do not know that. Okay. Yeah. So if it is, it could drive up the cost, you know. That's something we, we can find out, though. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Any more questions? Thank you, Mr. David. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on down to uh, old business. Travel together rice. Uh, Karen Lee. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, if, it, if it is the desire of this body to um, consider a formal policy, for the gathering rights and access to land. I think, well, if it's the will of the body, uh, maybe we should create a subcommittee for this. Uh, there's going to be a lot of entities involved, DOI, uh, the Wildlife Department, uh, of course the administration. So uh, we need to get all parties at the table. So, uh, But I didn't know what the consensus of the group was to pursue this any further. Anyone had it? It's been on the agenda for, for three or four months now. I appreciate you bringing it back as we requested. So I don't know if we need to take a vote and see or we want to proceed. Yeah. Uh, yes. <coughs> Counselor, is, is this something that we're doing uh, just as a Cherokee tribe or is this something we could do with maybe the other four tribes that we're aligned with? It's, it's possible we could do it, but it's, it's mainly for the Cherokee tribe. Thank you. Mr. Council, Larry Watts. Thank you. Um, to answer Councilman Bird's question, is that it would be specific to us as Cherokees, because I know the original interest I had was that we don't seem to have coordinated consultation on this issue or internal policies and procedures such as how we deal with forestry management, even old, the old way of burning to huckleberries. I mean, we're not managing for our traditional foods or traditional sure. things. And also, there's work that was at one point being done in geodata to map things. We haven't had an update on that in some time. And there's people that want to know how they can get the right together on our properties. Sure. So it's a, it's a bigger scope sure. Sure. issue, and, and we haven't. So, so for example, my frustration is we've asked for feedback. We've gotten a two-page document that really doesn't know what we asked for. Then they gave us a little short half-page, one-page report and said there was a meeting convened, but they didn't invite us to the meeting, and they didn't answer all the questions, so I'm not sure how to proceed with this point. Okay. And we have constituents that, that want to know how to address this. Yes. Well, my, my question, Mr. Chair, was going to be who in the administration is working on this or what's our expectations for the work on this. And I mean, I committee or subcommittee, I'd, I'd kind of like to see something from the administration if, if they want to propose something. We don't, we're not 
we don't have to wait for them to propose <coughs> anything, but uh, they have the manpower over there to develop some rules. I'd like to see them, and, and we can tweak them from there. But uh, I'm just curious as to what the administration's doing on this. And, uh, I know the ambassador, young Thank you. Uh, they have had one meeting, and uh, there were several discussion items that came out of that, but no formal policy, of course. But um, if if they could meet again and forward that to us, that would be perfectly acceptable. If, if that's our way. We might need to get together and say exactly what we're going to do. Like me, I'm not understanding what you're asking about gathering rights. Well, it, because where I come from, you go gather, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it ain't you just no. Get it. <laughs> right. Uh, there, there have been cases where uh, the Department of Wildlife has, has stopped people from doing certain gathering. And we, we want to make it a, a policy, especially on our tribal lands. Um, and that and it, it gets kind of uh, touchy because it's multi-use of land. So if someone's trying to collect something at a certain time, and there might be uh, somebody four-wheeling um, around them or, or running over what they're trying to collect or something like that. So uh, if we do need, the, do need to designate an area uh, at certain times of year to help those people that do want to gather. It's, it's things like that, but there's there's a lot of entities involved. It gets very complicated fast. Well, can I make a suggestion that we form a subcommittee maybe and have a discussion on exactly what we're trying to accomplish here, you know? That's and then, it. then we can move, I think, from there. I'm agreeable to that, and, and with the addition of, I think the, Mr. Austin gave a good suggestion for the, because we're not, we can't do this uh, exec, uh, legislative by ourselves. We have to have the executive right. witness on that. So if they would like to forward what they, their findings thus far uh, and give them to us, and we can go over that together. That's okay. acceptable to the We need to form a subcommittee. I have any volunteers? There's one, two, three. That's a Form a work group. We'll get together and talk about a good meeting time and we'll have a shall we send it out for us. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Curtis, does that mean that we're going to take it off of old business? It goes back to the work committee group. And then when it's done there, it will come back and be right. put on the agenda. Yes. Okay. So it will be taken off. It will be carrying it on the books for yeah. right. six months. Yeah. So I think we got this <coughs> down to where we work team. with it now. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. We're moving on down to item on new business. Moving on down to new business. This landfill report. We will table. We'll table this work. I make a motion to table. Second. Motion. Second. Point of information, okay. is there indefinitely, or is there no. a time frame? I, I want to suggest 30 days or no next longer. Next, next meeting. Next meeting. Next meeting. Okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Chair, uh, Pat Wynn just came in, so could he answer Lee's question on no. question that we had earlier? Yes. On the he can do that Oh, okay. Second. Motion to adjourn. 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 Motion to adjourn.
Okay, motion to table the landfill report. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? I'll make a motion to be adjourned. <laughs> Second. 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 Motion to adjourn. Did I hear a motion to adjourn? Yes, you did. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs>